all-new Yamaha V6 Offshore F-350. It's a featherweight knockout, the lightest 350 horsepower outboard on the water, exhilarating boating and incredible control in a powerfully light design. The Yamaha V6 Offshore F-350. This week's weekly video fishing forecast reports news events from around the island, a freshwater Hall of Fame highlight and an exclusive interview with our 2023 Dreamboat winner. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. Hey, today is April 18th, and as far as news goes, striper season, it's officially open now. One fish between 28 and 31 inches is the regulation. Also, the Belmont Fishing Family Festival was last weekend. Great event, great turnout, a little windy conditions, but there was some nice brook and rainbow trout caught. Thank you for the state for having us as a sponsor. Once again, we're looking forward to it next year. That latest digital issue, it's out now and it's in your email inbox. And on this week, we have the temperamental daughter for all those who like to surf fish. Check this one out. It's about all those daughters and how to fish them, whatnot. Spring cod on the rod. The spring is a great time to catch codfish on the local reefs and wrecks. And if you like finesse fishing and finesse fishing for crappy specifically, check out this freshwater reed as well. Hey, we all know Al Gags for his great salt water soft plastics that he does make. I use them myself. They're great lures that catch striped bass, weak fish, blue fish, albacore. But did you know Al is a great freshwater fisherman as well? A lot of his inventions started on the freshwater side. He got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Check out this video from the event. Uh, recently at the Connecticut Fishing and Outdoor Expo, Al Gagliarducci, a.k.a. Al Gags, was inducted into the International Freshwater Hall of Fame. Uh, Al has been designing and manufacturing lures since 1978. Uh, an emotional large crowd was on hand to watch Al receive this honor. It's my pleasure to present to you this honor plaque. The museum in Hayward, Wisconsin is the Hall of Fame shrine for inductees and Al's memories and spirit will live on for decades to come. Inducted 2024, Albert Gagler Ducci for outstanding achievement in the real in the realm of freshwater sport fishing. Uh, congratulations to my good friend Al Gagliarducci, a.k.a. Al Gags, for being inducted into the International Freshwater Hall of Fame. Congratulations, buddy. A couple months ago, the Fisherman Magazine team, we went down to Miami, Florida to interview the guys from NOBN. We had a great podcast with Jose and John Raguso. Now... NLBN, innovative stuff, great soft plastics. They work exceptionally well. They do limited batch releases. There's one coming up this Friday, 8 p.m. for the River Herring. The way to get in on it is visit NLBN.com at Friday at 8 p.m. or click on the link in our e-newsletter. Also, sign up for their VIP list for future limited batch notices. These lures were great. I'm going to be using them this year. They're awesome. You guys got to check these out. The killer on the striper is bluefish weak fish. Let's head on over to the events calendar. We do have a few coming up in the month of May. First off, we have an, a District 3 boating course that's at the Port of Egypt Marina at 9 a.m. That's on May 4th. Then May 9th is another District 3 boating course that's at West Islip Library. And then May 18th is Freeport Tuna Club's annual fishing flea market located at the Freeport Tuna Club Marina that starts at 8 a.m am all right let's head over to the map i'll tell you guys what i have been hearing as of recent scott from east end bait and tackle he said to me and i quote 
Striped bass season is finally upon us. We are hearing rumors of schoolie sized fish being caught in our surrounding waters. That is the Shinnecock Bay, Hampton Bays area. There were some reports of blackfish from the Great South Bay on the inside, local inshore, and deep water wrecks as well on, at a Fire Island inlet. Soft baits have been great for them. School bass are roaming throughout the bay as well on the north side of the bay. There's been a lot of fish at the bridges and inside the canal, soft plastics again. Sandworms, if you like to throw a bait, fresh bunker has been a great option also. Bill Vert Combs in Amityville, he told me it was a kind of a slow week, but there were some tug at the third Wantaw Bridge. One fisherman did have six fish with one keeper to 17 inches. Another angler, he used clam. He had a keeper. Remember those soft baits in the spring are great for blackfish. There have been some bass as well conjugating around the green lights and the canals. And those three-inch swim sheds are perfect for them. Remember, NLBN does make that three-inch size. They're releasing those this Friday. Check them out. Paul from River Bay in Baldwin, he told me the high winds and the rain did slow the saltwater action on the stripers. However, on the nicer days, there were some fish caught. Those were in the western bays. He did say Raritan has a lot of fish, but he said Jamaica is getting a nice steady trickle as well. Also happy to report another solid week of striper fishing along the western and mid section of the north shore. Bass are in the harbors or on the inside. They're hitting those natural baits, clam, bloodworms, sandworms, bunker chunks. You can also use those small soft plastics in them, swimming plugs, SP minnows, mag darters, small poppers. I heard of working too on the warmer days. Try Little Neck, Manhasset Bay. Those are two hot spots. But there are a load of fish to about 10 pounds inside Hempstead Harbor and Huntington Harbor. There's some scattered blackfish reports. Tough week to get out with those stiff winds on the outside. Also, Peconic Bay, starting to see some more bunker enter. There's been some small schoolies in the bay as well, and I did hear some squid are starting to show up in the lights after dark. Now, for your surf casters, I did hear the western back bays were the places again to be. This included Jamaica, Whittle Neck, Manhasset, and Oyster Bay. Thankfully, some of these fish are starting to move into the Great South Bay. Uh, the docks are starting to see a good bite. You know, early morning, small poppers, small soft plastics. Again, think storm sheds, tsunami, NLBN sheds. The North Shore centrally is starting to see some fish trickle in as well. That's Mount Sinai, Port Jefferson, Stony Brook Harbor. I like those small soft plastics back there. A few shorebound tog reports came in from the bridges in the Moses area and west of those in Nassau County as well. If you do have a report or a notable catch, email me, mbroderick at thefisherman.com. I'll try and get into the weekly video fishing forecast or the magazine. Rich Van Olen, he's got some fishing reports and our weather brought to you by Premium Bucktails. Rich. Hey, thanks, Matt. We'll check that weekend forecast. You can always check your favorite apps, weather tools, weather sites, whatever you got. This is a general heads up, general overview on the upcoming weekend. So a little fishing report first. Uh, dig it out last week, Monday and Tuesday. Kickoff bass season at my first schoolie bass, 26 inches in the southwest uh, bays, back bays in Nassau County. This was released and it was on a premium bucktail. Yeah, it was snap jigging. Marking some bait, and when you marked some fish, it was amazing. Once you marked the fish, the little uh, arc, um, I had the bass. So uh, we had a couple here, but they were spotty and scattered. It wasn't like lights out, so I had to work for them. But they are there. Again, fortunately, uh, they're starting to show up. Water temp's starting to come up. Look for that water temp in the back bays above uh, 55 degrees. If you can get that, you might see some better life. So speaking of water temps, uh, starting to come up. The buoys are back. Some good news here. Looks like Noah took care of them. Uh, the buoy south of Fire Island, and also the Ambrose buoy entrance to New York Harbor are now up and running. So hopefully that'll be a great help to all of us throughout the season. Check the weather forecast on the maps. Friday looks, uh, you know, so-so. I mean, it's still going to be a little rough in the ocean. Southeast breeze coming in, a little rain with a little front coming in through Saturday morning. And Saturday could have a shower anytime throughout the day. Winds go more west-southwest, uh, you know. Probably the pick of the weekend wind-wise will be Saturday. Sunday going to be a little more of a northwest breeze, a little gusty at times. But Saturday's winds don't look bad. It's fishable. I think we'll finally get overall a much better weekend from what we've been seeing the past several weeks. About 5 to 15. Sunday it's more 10 to 20 from the northwest and a little choppy. But 
Saturday, you know, it's manageable. Two to four, 48 way out in the ocean. The sound should be great. The surf should be great. The bays are great. Sunday should be okay. A little breezy, a little choppier, but overall not too bad. It's going to be in the 60s most of the day on Saturday and a little cooler 50s to near 60 on Sunday. Uh, trick check of the Guru, Wind Guru, one of my favorite apps. And, you know, you see that southeast breeze, 10 to 15 on Friday, gust to 20. Still a roll in the ocean. Saturday looks okay. I mean, the winds don't look bad. West, uh, southwest in the afternoon. A little gusty front Saturday night quickly. And then more of a northwest on Sunday. So the weekend weather deal, I think Friday, not the nicest day. A little rainy southeast. Still a little rolly in the ocean. Saturday looks good. You know, west, southwest, 5 to 15. 2 to 4 looks good. A little choppier Sunday, but still manageable northwest to west, about 10 to 20 knots. So finally, it looks like a decent weekend to get out, get some of those bass, get out and do some fishing. Be safe as always. Catch them up. Matt, back to you. That would check in with Captain Timothy O'Rourke from Montauk. Tim. Greetings, Matt. Hey, everybody. Greetings from Montauk. Um, again, as you can see this morning, it's pretty windy. Uh, not much of a report still, we're still waiting, but there has been some reports of somebody, I gotta check on it officially, of uh, getting some fish here on the east end. And I know Mike Dean's been getting a couple bass up by him towards Shinnecock. Um, other than that, I'm waiting, my boat's going in this weekend. Uh, the Vikings have been trying to pick away on some cod and blackfish. It's been hit or miss, hasn't been the best, but they're trying. And they're also gonna start porgy fishing May 1st out of Montauk and Sag Harbor. So keep that in mind. Um, hopefully next week I'll have a better report. Um, the weather's looking like you might be able to get out and do some surf casting. So I'm going to try hitting a couple spots and hopefully I got more for you next week. All right, everybody. Thanks for checking in and we'll see you next week. From Shinnecock, Mike Dean. Thanks, Matt. Hey, everyone. Happy guy here. I got my first bass of the season a couple of days ago. Uh, pretty much same back bay spot where I've got my first one, you know, for probably about the last, three or four seasons, typically on a soft plastic, like a bass assassin, but didn't have any luck with that. Tried a, uh, put on a Joe bag swatter and uh, a couple of casts into, into that and was onto a fish, probably like 28, 29 inches. Didn't measure it, but I was just happy to see something with stripes uh, at the end of my line after what seemed like an eternity since the last time of catching a catching a bass in late November of last year. So very encouraging. Other guys been catching fish pretty much all in the bay. However, just after um, I submitted last week's report, uh, my buddy Aiden got one off of the beach uh, to the west of Marich's Inlet. Uh, some good structure, low tide. So was really surprised to see uh, a fish caught in the ocean. So, But like I said, it's been in the back bays. Last week, John Vanderwolf got one in, in the flats west of Marich's Inlet. Um, there have been fish that I've heard of from that area all the way down to Hetty Creek east of Shinnecock Inlet. So that outgoing tide definitely seems to be the one that is um, producing more fish. A uh, couple of fish that are a little bit bigger at night, but you know when we are when the weather's cooperating, we're having those sunny days. That muddy bottom of the bay, like most of us know, and I've said a, a bunch of times, is kind of getting things going. So um, only more fish ahead of us. So very encouraging, happy about that. It's pretty much the only thing kind of like going on right now. So uh, I'm going to keep going at it. I did go last night. Didn't really have any luck. Uh, still on that same kind of tide. Uh, part of the tide where I caught uh, the previous day. So um, we'll see. It'll keep going out. It looks like the weather's not going to cooperate for a few days, but shouldn't stop us from getting out there and going after it. So the fishing is also pretty good to the west. So, you know, we're the fishing's only going to get better around here as those fish start to move east. Uh, Manhattan Cup, I mentioned last week, we have it coming up Friday, June 7th. We still need a number of captains that are willing to bring their own boat and gear to take out a team of anglers that are people that paid an entry fee, sponsors, but most importantly, post-combat veterans that we exposed to fishing in the outdoors on their road to healing. Uh, we're having a bigger turnout than last year, uh, just from what we have registered so far. And we're also running a contest. If you register uh, by Saturday, you're entered into a drawing that will take place Sunday night. And that's for a Manhattan Cup Series Yeti 40-ounce tumbler. Uh, this for any captain or angler that registers on our site, manhattancup.com. You can reach out to me, uh, leaving a comment below. Below or on social media and I can get you all the details. Uh, amazing day. We'd love to see as many more people um, than we've seen in the past come. And I know there's a number of people watching this that are joining us. I appreciate that and really appreciate uh, the fishermen and their continuing dedication and their sponsorship to the Manhattan Cup. So 
All right, the bass are here, the fishing's here, life is good. Back to you, Matt. From Northport, the Cow Harbor Bait and Tackle Report. Hey folks, I'm speaking with you right here in our Hail Site location, located right in Huntington Harbor. It's a beautiful area, and uh, our area is just doing so well with fish. I haven't had any founder reports yet, um, but it's been mainly bass, and it, they're on the chunk. Uh, fresh bunk, we've had fresh bunker in and fresh clams, and both of them are working really well as well as far as uh, you know lures go. Uh, your lure of choice, plastics in different colors. Uh, stick baits, some jerk shads, they're working really well. It's, uh, it's just a great time. I mean, wow, what are we in? Uh, beginning of April, April, what, 16th, as I'm speaking to you. And we've been catching fish since March. So it seems like we've got a warmer pattern happening and uh, the fish are hanging out. Now, porgy, porgy are in the mix. Uh, I haven't heard that much yet, but I know that when porgy show up, you better be sure that uh, blackfish are going to be right behind them. And that's usually at this time of the year, you're going to see some really big sea bass getting caught. So keep your eye on the regulations, of course, so you know what fish to keep and what uh, to throw back. And again, you, uh, your catch and release practice, uh, throwing them back in the water in the right way so that uh, you catch them another day and enjoy them. Hey, listen. Come on down to the sail site location. We're going to have some more fun stuff. Maybe try to do some hot dogs, fun things like that. Uh, we've got the room for it, and it's just great to see people every week and come in and saying, hi, I follow you on the reports. I'm here to check it out. Again, as always, I bid you all peace and tight line. From the Fire Island area in Great South Bay, Captain Al of Lorenzetti. Hey, Matt. Uh, Fire Island report, uh, water temperature drop or went up 10 degrees this past week from 45, it's up to 55, which is now optimal. Uh, the first striped bass were caught up in the Back Bay area, anywhere from Babylon to Patchogue, along that whole stretch. Uh, they're showing up, bait is starting to show, so the fishing is going to start getting really good real soon. I did try flounder fishing the other day for an hour, an hour and a half, I couldn't get a bite, so that fishery is pretty much non-existent anymore but that's it matt we'll keep you posted talk to you next week paul mccain he's always got that freshwater report with us from river bay outfitters hello matt beautiful day i had to come out to oakdale out to the connect river make a delivery uh so i figured i'm gonna get, come and fish for a few hours using my brand new bamboo rod that my good friend mark wayne uh put together for me he did a beautiful job. This rod is really is impressive. For bamboo rods, most of them, you're not gonna, you're not gonna really uh, throw big heavy flies. But this fly handled handled the streamers, handled the wet flies, and I saw a lot of fish taking emergers. And you can tell from emergers because they're porpoising. That's just they're taking the flies just below the surface, so wet flies really shine off. And look at that one; they just splashed behind me. Uh, it was a, it's been a really good day. I had a lot of good fish. I got uh, a newbie, uh, Lenore, who was uh, just started out, and uh, I got her to catch a fish, and uh, it was really good. My son called in to tell me he's been out carp fishing today. He's, he didn't want to waste today, and he had fish, but he, they're starting to spawn, so they're getting a little tougher. But there is a lot of fish. Saltwater, stripers are all, I'm hearing all the way out to Port Jeff and beyond. Or there's Shinnecock and all that. They're all stripers that are starting to come in. With this warmer weather, you can expect to see all over the place. Montauk will be next. So get out where you can. If you're interested in bamboo rods, give me a call. Mark makes them for sale. They're fantastic. And uh, to the next week, tight lines. We're going to head up to Max Finch from the Connecticut side of the Western Sound. Hey everyone, Max here from Fisherman's World with another local fishing report. Yesterday I got out down west with my wife. We trolled some mojos and found some bass we were in that 40 to 50 foot range. And we saw a lot of bait balls. So it is starting in the Western Sound. We still, you know, there's still bass entering the lower bay in New York and run up the Hudson to spawn, but things are heating up. Locally around our rivers, you know, around the islands, our harbors, there's still a lot of nice fish around. I would say in that schoolie to slot size range, we've seen some fish pushing 40 inches up in the local herring runs. The herring are filling in, so if you wanna, you know, get on this bite, I would check your local tidal rivers on the higher incoming tides. We've seen some blackfish caught this past week around the Nauk Islands. A lot of the uh, actions coming from the east, you know, New Haven walls, the Bridgeport walls, 
you know, we're not carrying crabs, but we do have sandworms, clams, they work well. And then our local trout rivers are also fishing well. Saugatuck opened this past Saturday. We've seen a lot of smallmouth bass, so that was cool. And then we saw some decent walleye, no real big trout. We saw them up to like four pounds, but the Saugatuck River, Nauk River, Mayanus is fishing very well. Thanks and good luck. Ben Gilmore, he's got the way to some capos, Costa Rica. Guys, how's it going? This is Ben Gilmore from Jackpot Sport Fishing here in Costa Rica. You're joining me from the middle of the Pacific Ocean. We're tuna fishing right here now. I, I got a huge school of tuna right next to the boat. Spinner dolphins. I got a couple of great guys here with me tuna fishing today. Light tackle tuna fishing. This week has been all about tuna. We had some really nice fishing on light tackle, 40 pound leaders, catching a lot of tuna in the 20 to 30 pound class. Right here we're fishing now guys, absolutely insane. Guys, yesterday we hooked a blue marlin about 200 odd pounds. We got some big dorado in the last week and a few sailfish. Closer to shore along the beaches and the rocks, we've had some really nice rooster fish. We got a 50 pounder the other day and some smaller ones between 20 and 35 pounds as well. Guys, would love to see you down here this summer. Come and give us a call. This is Ben Gilmore from Jackpot Sport Fishing. Don't forget this video is available as a podcast on iTunes and Google Music. Search for the Fisherman Magazine podcast and subscribe so you can listen to this broadcast along with our other content. Striper fishing is underway, talk season is getting better, and freshwater fishing is pretty solid right now. It's only going to get better from here. We'll see you next week. TheFisherman.com weekly video fishing forecast.